mezcal, campari, ginger, and lemon. Or should I say smoky, bitter, spicy, and lemon. To some, this sounds super appealing, and to others, maybe a little intimidating. Today, I'll be making another great cocktail by Sam Ross, the Mosquito. If you watched my videos in the past year, you know I'm a huge fan of Sam Ross. Sam Ross, Sam Ross, Sam Ross. Sam Ross's Rice to Fame started at one of the century's most influential cocktail bars, Milk and Honey, on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, New York City. He later on took over the bar, named it Attaboy, and has now opened a second location in Nashville along with two other bars. However, he's probably still mostly known for creating cocktails like the Paper Plane and the Penicillin, and these are must-know cocktails for any modern craft bartender. What I really like about Sam Ross is his approach to creating cocktails. He uses ingredients that are readily available in any cocktail bar and makes cocktails that are very classic in style, such as the Penicillin and the Paper Plane. This makes his drinks easy to replicate and is probably the reason for them and him becoming so famous. He also has a very rock and roll attitude, both in general and to bartending, and this is something I can very much relate to, in case you hadn't noticed. And this is what Sam Ross himself has to say, and I'm quoting from a Liquor.com interview with him. Historic classics are everything. Nothing new can come without them. You have to walk before you can run. Only once you have an understanding of the classics, which are formulas of balance, can you start making new things. All of the new products in the world count for nothing if you don't know how to use them. I think a classic cocktail has to be a drink that's easily replicated, no difficult or wacky ingredients, no infusions or house-made bitters. Simple, approachable, foolproof, and above all, it has to be good. And in a completely different context, he also says, Now it's time to keep making delicious drinks, but have a little more fun with it. Maybe a bit more loud. Listen to more rock and roll. I'm 100% with you on that, Sam. Okay, so for the ingredients, we're gonna use mezcal, and mezcal is basically a smoky tequila. It's also made from agave, but not necessarily the same kind of agave that you use in tequila. And it's also produced in a slightly different way to give it that smoky character that we associate mezcal with. Campari, and Campari is a very, very bitter liqueur from Italy with notes of rhubarb and orange in there. Ginger syrup, and I made this myself, and I also made a short video on it that you can watch up here. Fresh lemon juice and some candied ginger for garnish. Okay, so this is another one of those super easy equal parts cocktails. I'm gonna start with my ginger syrup, three quarter ounce. Three quarter ounce of Campari. Three quarter ounce of your fresh lemon juice. And three quarter ounce of your mezcal. All right, so let's try this beautiful little cocktail. Whew, boom! Yeah, this definitely packs a punch. Like, there's, there's just so much going on. You have the smokiness from the mezcal, the bitterness from the Campari, the spice from the ginger, and the lemon is just there to freshen everything up. This is excellent. This could be a good alternative for anyone that likes a spicy margarita and is open to a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of bitterness. Either way, this is a really cool cocktail. Anyway, I hope I inspired you today. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers to you, cheers to Sam Ross, and I'll see you guys next week. I don't know what that was. Welcome? No point in keeping this, right? I did it. Boom.